Hi everyone, there's been a lot of progress so I thought I'd narrate this video so I don't have to type a super long description. As you can see I've gone back to the mega sensor board away from the um, PCA servo controller which is giving me too much grief with uh, the mysterious negative angle settings and various things. So um, uh, this gives the same advantage anyway of not requiring a huge number of wires to connect the servos. And also here you can see this little doodad which is a um, infrared sensor pickup. You'll see what that does in a minute. I've also adapted the um, LCD display from the manipulator experiment I did. So um, I think that's about it at this stage, but now we get to see what all these improvements do. So this is the little remote that came with the um, infrared sensor. So using this to simplify programming, I've set it so I can select a servo, just use that button, and then, <laughs> that's not going to work, select a servo, and then, okay, okay now it's decided to work, uh, just select a servo and adjust the angle of that servo, which helps setting, setting up the angles. I've also programmed it to, if I push the right arrow, it sets the legs to walk start position. Push the left arrow, sets the legs to walk end position. But the most exciting button is the OK button. When I push OK, it will take five steps and then stop. So as you can see, it looks like we're well on the way to actually having a walking model, but I like to think of it as like a, a rocket that's on the launch pad all fueled up and ready to go, and as soon as I cut the string and put it on the ground, it's going to explode and burst into flames, so, to mix a metaphor, sorry. But yeah, it's getting very close to time to literally cut the strings, put it down and see how it goes. So we'll um, hopefully do that in the next video. As you can see, I still have to sort out some of the angles for the um, positions of the legs during the walking process, um, which is exactly why I set up this, uh, this business where I can just uh, tweak the legs using the remote. Anyhow, I'll end that here, and hopefully next time we'll actually see it on the ground walking. See ya.